The film takes place in an undefined futuristic society led by the beautiful people. It begins with a group of mutants called Axion Mutante, who attack and kidnap fitness icon Matthias Pons and an unknown woman. The heist goes awry and Matthias and the woman lose their lives in the process. Action Mutante is a terrorist group filled with mutated and eccentric buffoons who carry out attacks against all forms of what they perceive as a healthy and beautiful society. The group consists of Alex and Juan, the Siamese twins, Caesar Ravestein, a.k.a. Qui Michefa, the one with a breast implant filled with five kilograms of explosives, Jose Oscar Teleria, a.k.a. Manitas, the group's mechanic, who has been arrested by the police 50 times already, Amancio Gonzalez, a dangerous deaf mute with perhaps the lowest IQ in the world, yet possessing extraordinary strength, Jose Montero, a.k.a. Chepa, a hunchback dwarf, murderer, Freemason, communist, and also possibly homosexual, Ramon Yaritu, the leader and the mastermind behind Action Mutante, the man who is about to be released after five years in prison, the Action Mutanta is already ready to pick him up. They set off together back to their secret headquarters. Once they arrive, they waste no time and devise a new plan for an attack, which their newly released leader has considered while in prison. The next target of their actions is the wedding of the heiress of a large and influential bakery empire, where they want to abduct the bride, Patricia. They arrive at the extravagant wedding celebration with a prepared cake in which they intend to imprison the bride and plan to blend in with the crowd there. However, the cake operation unfolds differently than planned, and the celebration ends in a great chaos with many casualties. But at the end of the day, the mutants still manage to carry out their abduction plan. They send a video to the father of the abducted bride, demanding a high ransom amount. Additionally, he learns that they intend to take his daughter to the remote planet of Axturius, where the ransom exchange will take place. However, when the group sees on television that the ransom amount is much higher than what their leader Ramon had led them to believe, doubts and disagreements arise within the crew. Upon hearing this, Ramon assures his followers that the television reports are nonsense and that they can trust him. However, Ramon has a cunning plan and he first targets Manitas from the group to get rid of him in an unpleasant manner by feeding him to a captive monster on board. When the rest of the team learns about Manitas' premature death, Ramon makes the others believe that there is a traitor on board, further sowing distrust within the crew and diverting attention from himself. His plan seems to be working and the remaining crew members start to distrust each other and suspect one another. Next, Ramon targets Kui Michefa and casually detonates the explosives in his chest. He wants to steadily reduce the crew's numbers so that he can claim the entire ransom for himself. However, he convinces the others that Quimitsefa killed himself because he was the traitor and couldn't bear the guilt any longer. Lastly, Ramon confronts the twins. Just as he murders one of them, the other wakes up and points his gun at Ramon, demanding him to stop. Ramon tries to bribe him with a large share of the soon-to-be ransom and does everything to make Alex let go. However, Alex doesn't give in so easily, and their dispute only ends when Ramon finally manages to overpower him. Shortly after the battle, their spaceship is heavily attacked by the father of the abducted bride and his henchmen. However, Ramon and Patricia are lucky and survive the destruction of their spaceship crash landing in a remote part of Asturias. After Patricia regains consciousness, she develops a severe case of Stockholm Syndrome and suddenly feels a strong attraction towards Ramon. However, Alex has also survived the crash and now drags himself through the barren landscape of the planet, accompanied by his dead twin. Meanwhile, the wealthy father of the abducted Patricia sets out to find Ramon and the kidnappers. Alex, meanwhile, is found by a blind hermit who takes him and his deceased Siamese twin brother and helps him. He assists Alex by taxiderming his dead brother in order to save the surviving twin. Upon learning that Ramon and Patricia are also on the planet and supposed to be heading towards the agreed meeting point, the blind man is determined to go there as well, for the simple reason that there are no women on the planet Axturias. Ramon and Patricia encounter a group of peculiar individuals who all appear to be related and express great joy at the arrival of a woman. When Ramon refuses to sell Patricia to them, a confrontation ensues, resulting in Ramon and Patricia being overpowered. Ramon is bound and tortured, while Patricia becomes the center of attention for the entire group, receiving their full and intense focus. In parallel, the blind man is shot down by wild miners, and Alex is then hanged from a tree by the deranged individuals. Patricia managed to strike a deal with the youngest member of the group, allowing her and Ramon to escape. On their way, they come across the hanging Alex. 
The group of wild men Patricia and Ramon left behind also set off, picking up Alex along the way. They are all now heading towards the meeting point, which is a rundown bar. Upon arriving at the bar, Ramon and Patricia instantly capture the undivided attention of all the patrons. The sight of a woman is incredibly exciting for them all. Patricia is still under the influence of Stockholm Syndrome, and now contemplates with Ramon how they can swindle money from her father together. Then a television crew appears, eager to witness and document the ransom exchange live. Next, the father of the abducted Patricia arrives, but declines to give an interview. However, the husband of the abducted is much more talkative in front of the cameras. The live television coverage captures the exchange between Ramon and Patricia's father, much to their displeasure. The husband, clearly enjoying the attention of the cameras, willingly offers to take charge of the suitcase containing the ransom money. However, Patricia disrupts the exchange. Furthermore, the suitcase is also lacking the expected ransom money, which infuriates Ramon, leading him to shoot the cameraman. Patricia's father now reveals his insane plan to everyone, expressing his intention to blow them all up. He no longer sees Patricia as his daughter, since she lost her virginity to a crippled terrorist and has now cut ties with her completely. Suddenly, Alex intervenes and takes out the deranged father. A wild shootout ensues, with seemingly everyone shooting at each other. Out of the blue, a police rocket strikes the bar, and all members of the Acción Mutante are ordered to leave the premises immediately. Meanwhile, Ramon runs out of ammunition and becomes increasingly defeatist. In a daring move, Ramon seizes the ticking bomb, says Alex goodbye, shares a passionate farewell kiss with Patricia, and runs outside towards the police with the bomb ticking faster and faster. It eventually explodes with a loud and powerful blast. The bomb's explosion causes a massive shockwave, raining debris down in the bar. The surviving Alex gathers Patricia, who immediately conveys that she now feels captivated by him, thanks to Stockholm Syndrome. Together, they leave the shattered bar behind, venturing into an uncertain future. Thank you for watching this recap of the pretty wild 1993 Spanish cult film, Action Mutante, from the acclaimed Spanish director Alex de la Iglesia, which is an over-the-top blend of comedy, fantasy, and science fiction. I hope you enjoyed this rather unique film, and I hope to see you in the next recap.